Thanks for tuning in to a mock draft edition of the Our Lads Football Network on the OFN Today. I'm your host, Greg DePama, Senior Analyst for Our Lads and the Our Lads Football Network. And what we're going to do is we are going to present mock drafts, our final mock drafts. And that's all this is about. Quick, one, two, three, mock drafts up and out. And, of course... Love that date. We've been looking at it for the past several months, and it's finally here. That's right. It's April 25th. It is only about five hours away from draft time, and we're going to get this show on the road here by first taking a look uh, over at Dave Syvertson's mock draft. Now, these are both first rounds only. And, of course, Dave, uh, one of the lead scouts over at Our Lads, He's going to do one where he is going to implement trades. Now, I'm not going to, but Dave's going to have trades in his mock draft. So here they are. All right. So Dave is going to go uh, pretty academic on the first two. He's going to decide to go at McCarthy three. Then he's going to make his first trade. He's going to get Arizona out of there. And it makes sense if you see how Arizona right here winds up with Marvin Harrison anyway. So that could be very interesting if Arizona actually could pull off a trade like this. Now, this is if Dave believes that New York wants Drake May. And so that's the reason why the uh, trade would be made. All right, and you see the Chargers going with the tackle. That's not a big surprise. Again, I believe that's where they're going to go as well, either offensive line or tight end. I know a lot of people believe wide receiver. We'll see if that works out. Uh, scrolling on down, we've got another trade. And this makes a lot of sense, too. As a Jet fan, I think this does. Because I think, as you can see, as we scroll down a little bit further, you see the Jets picking the offensive lineman from Washington. And I believe that they can get him at 14. So why not trade down from 10? New Orleans, meanwhile, they can move up and get the best offensive tackle, as you can see. It all depends, because Dave's got Latham at 5. But a lot of people believe Alt's the best tackle. A lot, of, a lot of other people, maybe even Dave, believes that it all depends on whether or not it's a fit. All right, so there you go. Saints with Alt. Minnesota getting Knicks. And then we get a trade. Denver trading out of 12 so the Rams can come up and get Brock Bowers. And then Denver just slides down here to 19, and they get Brian Thomas Jr., and then here's the rest of the draft. Look, Roma Dunn's... But you're always going to get a couple of players that are going to fall. It's going to happen. Who will fall tonight in the draft? Adunze looks like he's the fall guy for Dave. Moving on. Here's the rest. You got Cooper DeGene going to the Eagles. Now you get another trade. The last trade, I believe, you got Green Bay at Tennessee. Green Bay would be trading out of the first round. Tennessee coming back and getting their offensive tackle. Of course, you look back here. Tennessee's first pick was wide receiver. Now, there might be some people who are wondering, why would Tennessee need a receiver? They have Burks. He's the guy that's supposed to be the next top receiver for Tennessee. Of course, they got Ridley and, and Hopkins, but Burks is supposed to be the next guy. Well... You know, we had a nice conversation the other day with our uh, Tennessee analyst who said, no, 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 no. Don't be surprised if Tennessee goes up and grabs that wide receiver. They're not very comfortable with Burks. They're not satisfied. Now, whether or not they make the move in the first round or not, we'll see. So if Tennessee does make that move, now you can see why it, it would make sense for them to go back into the first round to get the tackle because they need a tackle. They need a left tackle. That's a given. And here's the rest of the draft for Dave Syvertson in the first round. Only. All right. Now we're going to get on to my mock draft. And same thing. This is first round only. So let's check it out. No trades. Okay, but see, this is important. Since I'm not going to have trades, I'm going to play certain players with certain teams. And I'm doing that because I know there's going to be trades. So, for instance, well, first of all, let's go. Let's start off. You got I have Marvin Harrison going to the Patriots, and I know this is going to be between quarterback and Harrison. And I, I and I know the percentages say quarterback. And there's also a really good opportunity, or people believe that the Patriots could very well trade down and still wind up with a quarterback like JJ McCarthy. 
And that's why I had that as another option. But I just, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm going by gut, and I'm saying the Patriots are so sick and tired of not getting it right at wide receiver that they now stare in front of, in, right in front of their faces. The, the, the first can't miss, can't miss receiver. You, you can't miss here. So if you're having a hard time getting a number one receiver in New England for the past decade since Randy Moss, do it. Do it. They can always trade back into the first round if they want to or decide to go get a quarterback next year. They don't have to go all in this year. That's not that, that's not possible. It, it, it's, it's, it's probable they're going to get a quarterback, but you never know. All right. Moving on down. Now, here's the one. I think the Chargers are going to try to do everything in their power to trade down. I really do. And, but whether they stay at five or not, and 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 I'm, I'm, this is going to be the first monkey in the wrench. I just know Harbaugh. I know he wants to. If he he's got the opportunity to take one of the best receiving tight ends to come around in a long time. And now look, people are saying, well, is he Pitts? And they're even comparing him to Laporta last year. Well, Laporta was a second round draft pick. And Pitts, he hasn't exactly, you know, a lot of people also talking about the fact that tight ends, they don't, I mean, look at Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey was a third rounder. You don't have to take, they just t- the top 10 tight ends that always work out. Which is why I think the, char- the Chargers will try to trade down and get Bowers. But I just think that Harbaugh covets the tight end position on offense more than anything regarding elite talent. And I, I think that just knowing that he can get an elite talent like Bowers is something that he's going to try to take with him. So we'll see. Now, I think there's also a very good possibility they go off into tackle with Joe Alt. Wide receiver is not on my top of my list, but a lot of people believe that they will go receiver. Maybe this is where you go with neighbors. Now, the Giants, do they go with May? I don't know. I'm just, my guess is, is they're going to give Jones one more year. That's my guess. And if they're going to do that, well, you know what? Just bulk up that offensive line even more. But they could also go with a Dunze. And that's something also, because look, I don't know how they feel about, you know, Illuminor came in, free agent. He had a good, he's a very solid under the radar player. He's better suited as a swing. But, you know, They've got that first round kid just sitting there. One more year, he's getting one more try. So maybe they pass on tackle this year and go with a Dunze. Or maybe they go quarterback. Now, for Shano, I think this kid can go anywhere from 7 to like 15. This is the, uh, the old teammates, Will Levis. They were former teammates at Penn State. Now, I just think that just like we talked about with Dave, they're going tackle. It's early. If they don't go tackle here, they're going to find a way to go tackle at some point. Maybe it's Mims. You know, Mims, we talked about this on our mock draft show with uh, Dave and I last week. Kind of reminds me a little bit of what went on last year with Dewan Jones at Cleveland. And, of course, they got Callahan, who was coaching that kid. So they could opt to wait a little bit later to get Mims especially if they trade down. Everybody has Atlanta getting Dallas Turner. Everybody believes Chicago is going after uh, Verse. In this particular situation, I actually came close to going with a Dunza here because Atlanta is going to be using three, uh, 11 personnel. And yes, they have Rondell Moore. And they just gave money to Mooney. And they've got London. But... You put a Dunze on there and you make Rondell Moore your wild card. I just think that's something that they could consider. But Dallas Turner does look like a perfect fit for that defense. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I have a Dunze here. I just think he's too good of a player to pass up. Chicago needs more talent at wide receiver. Definitely. And they've got themselves a new quarterback. So they've got to give him as many weapons as possible. That's why I think this kid, the kid from Oregon State, could be the pick here. Because he could slide into guard for a year. Or he could stay at tackle, have the competition. And they could also go to verse. A lot of people think verse. You know, Sweat did a great job. Verse, that would give them two potent edge rushers. And that's something that they have to consider. Again, I do believe the Jets will try and trade down because I believe they can pick this lineman or another lineman a little bit later on if they do it. I only have Drake May here because of the fact that on my board, he would still be available. And if he is... 
I think the Jets would have to seriously consider him. Not that I, I again, I believe there'll be trade ups, but I have to put that there. And I'll put Bowers there as well, even though I know that seems to be the consensus. I just don't think that that's where the Jets should go. But then again, a lot's going to depend on who knows. Maybe they trade back into the second round or the first round using next year's collateral, and then they get their tackle or lineman because I think they must get alignment early on in the draft. Now there's the quarterbacks. A lot of people believe Minnesota will trade up. The Broncos could trade up. They could also trade down. So that's the reason why I'm just going to go there and say somehow Minnesota will end up with a quarterback. Somehow Denver will end up with a quarterback. That's the reason why I put it this way. I think Latham would be a perfect addition for the for, for, for the Raiders at right tackle. Don't rule out a Brock Bauer slips. Don't rule out the Saints. The Saints, the Colts, right there. Those two teams. I'm not sure that Bowers would get past those two teams. If he's even available this far. But once again, someone will drop one or two players. Here's one of them, Jared Verse. If he gets by the Bears, he could drop a little bit. I tell you what, I think the Jets would be awfully tempted. If Jared Verse was available, they'd be awfully tempted. I think the Colts would love Cooper DeGean just as well as I think the Saints would. Here's a really good one. Panix Jr. You, you've got Seattle. You've got Washington. You've got the Washington OC. Now it's Seattle. It makes a lot of sense. It really does. you got Geno tutoring Panix in the offseason. Now, do I think it's going to happen at 16? Maybe not. Seattle does not have a second rounder. The Leonard Williams trade. I think that they're going to move down. And then they take Penix. Here's some of the options here. This Oregon State kid may not last 18. See, Cincinnati, I mean, if they don't get alignment with their top pick, come on. I know that they might wait till the next pick, but come on. Rams could do a bunch of things. I know a lot of people think the Rams are going to trade up. I get it. Dave believes that. If they don't, these are the players, especially Chop Robinson. I think they really love Chop Robinson, and I also think they think uh, they, they, they would go with Mitchell if they're looking at a corner. Pittsburgh. To me, I think this is just too easy, and that's the reason why it probably doesn't happen. There's Mitchell going to the Eagles. Imagine if the Eagles get Brian Thomas Jr. And now with Fangio there, I know they've got edge rushers, but hey, why not? Get some more. We're talking Vic Fangio here. This could go either way. Corner. Newton, if he's still on the board. Now, there's the Mims kid I was talking about. There's Dallas. I think Dallas would love to get this kid Mims. That's a Jerry Jones pick. Brian Thomas, don't rule him out. They can use it. Look, they've got a receiver opening now. I think Barton is a perfect addition for the Packers. They love flexible linemen. He fits the bill. They could also go after a top corner. I think Tampa would love to get Newton or Murphy. So I, th I think they could go with either player. Wiggins, I think, would be a nice addition to Arizona. But Murphy, I think that, or Newton, I think those are, that, that's just a much more important position. They have to get talent up front. Brian Thomas, we know the Bills need receivers. They need more than one. They'd love to have Brian Thomas at 28. Not sure he'll be there. That's why Buffalo probably going to have to trade up to get someone like Brian Thomas. Led McConkey, I think this is a good fit. You got Baltimore, definitely looking for a receiver. There's some ties there with the coaching staff. San Francisco. They've got to bulk up that right tackle spot and the future left tackle spot, and they could do that with one pick. And just imagine the Kansas City Chiefs with one of those receivers, McConkey, Dave Had, and I had Xavier Worthy. They're going to get one. They're going to get one. All right, that's it. So I'm out of here. Just want to remind everybody to order, and I'm going to have a link in the description. You can still order the draft guide at rlads.com. The draft guide, of course. Uh, it, it, by the way, if you want the PDF, you can get that right away. If you don't want to wait for the draft guide. But don't worry if you didn't get the draft guide before the draft. Because even if you get it after the draft, that's when you're going to know where all the players go. 
just as valuable. And then the, re the review guide comes on the flip of that. So you got the review guide in, in about what? A couple of months. June, I believe. The draft guide available right now. Hard copy or PDF. And that's going to wrap it up here for this edition of the OFN Today on the All Ads Football Network. I'm Greg DePama. Again, check back with us real soon because we are going to recap the NFL Draft with loads of videos next week, both on the Our Lads Football YouTube channel and on my YouTube channel over at Prime Sports Network. So I uh, can't wait to recap the draft. We're going to go over all 32 teams, and we're going to take our time. So we're going to have all 32 teams. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to just enjoy doing that over the next few weeks. So check back with us here on the Our Lads Football Network and Prime Sports Network YouTube channel. Enjoy the draft, everybody, and we'll see you next time.